Um, I don't usually get out much, so uh, you know, I'm usually behind a desk um, working behind a screen, so people don't usually let me out for, for obvious reasons that you're uh, soon to discover. But thank you for all coming today. Um, I'm not sure if uh, you all got the payment in the post. If, you, if not, it's, it'll be on its way. Royal Mail is not what it used to be. So welcome to Media on Wheels. It's all about staying, staying relevant with connected audiences. Uh, and by connected audiences, we're talking about people with mobile electronic devices, screens in their pockets, uh, empowered more than ever before to be able to respond and interact with the world around them. Uh, in terms of agenda, as you can see briefly, we're going to go through an introduction to myself um, and, and the company IT's Media. We're going to go over Taxi Top history. In, uh, in particular, we're focusing on Taxi Tops as that is our product, uh, which helps, um, but also as the future of digital out of home and transit media, we see uh, the digital taxi top as being quite an important feature of the digital landscape uh, soon to come in major cities in North America and uh, Europe. We'll also just briefly go over some of the other transport media opportunities at the moment, um, and then deep diving into digital and the iTaxi top. And then we'll close off with some of our key learnings that, uh, that we've learned over the last two and a half years. So in terms of my background, my name is Richard Corbett, and I'm the founder and CEO of IT's Media. Um, launched about two and a half years ago after I gave up working 100 hours a week to work 100 hours a week for myself, um, I thought about different uh, technologies. And, and certainly my, my background working for a new venture strategy consultancy is basically to have a higher level view of the marketplace and actually take stock of what are the market trends, where are the opportunities, and be completely um, oblivious to the detail and the technology, but go from the perspective of what is the need in the market. And then later deep dive into what opportunities, is it technology, is it not technology, um, whatever the case may be. So launched in 2010, um, the business has been funded by friends, family, and fools. Um, and so far it's been, um, it, it's been going well so far. Uh, touch wood. Uh, we've launched the iTaxi Top um, 2.0 at the Screen Media Expo today. Um, and effectively, what the iTaxi Top does is location based and time specific advertising on the roof of taxis uh, over high brightness screens. There will be an American voiceover man who speaks a lot more elo eloquently than I do who will just talk you through that very briefly in about 30 seconds. Um, so again, this is our second year at Screen Media Expo. It's uh, an absolute pleasure to be here. Mark Pigu has, has uh, I twisted his arm uh, for the second year in a row to get us back. Um, we can't get enough of it. For us, this is the best digital out of home um, expo in Europe. And, and certainly, it's, uh, it's an honor to be here. My colleague is on the Tannoy system now, so she's talking about something completely different. Um, so trials at the moment are set to commence in uh, Europe and North America within the next two, three months. Um, so it's really exciting times for us and IT's media. So we'll talk a little bit about that uh, later. We're, we're a partner with Ogilvy Digital Labs, um, which basically, if you're not aware of Ogilvy Digital Labs, they showcase some of the uh, high growth opportunities in the digital out of home sector. And if you're interested to know more about that, then I can talk to you later about that. They have an office in Canary Wharf and Paddington, and there's some really interesting, exciting opportunities. If you want to broaden your horizon, then certainly I'd like to invite you to a, a meeting there at some point. We're also, for some reason, one way or another, we managed to get into the final five for the Innovation Awards uh, for Best Digital Out of Home Solution. We didn't win, uh, but we had a great time going to Amsterdam uh, to uh, go to the awards. Um, let you fill in the gaps. Um, so here's the American voiceover chap. Um, over to you, Bob. Hello, and welcome to IT's Media. We develop high-impact mobile digital advertising solutions for the out-of-home media market. Our signature product, the iTaxiTop, is the world's most advanced mobile digital advertising solution for the taxi media market. The iTaxiTop is a double-sided digital advertising pod that sits on the roof of a taxi. Any taxi, in fact from as far as New York to London, Paris to Beijing. Taxis are great advertising tools, spending over 95% of their time in city centers. 
They're visible 24-7, providing us with the perfect platform to advertise from. The iTaxi Top is simple to install and easy to use. Designed to function on all vehicle types in all weather and ambient light conditions, the iTaxi Top provides an eye-catching, reliable, and effective advertising medium that will cut through the big city noise and bring digital advertising messages to the masses. With the ability to schedule adverts remotely and update via 3G connectivity to each unit, coupled with market-leading reporting tools, the iTaxi Top provides advertisers with a highly targeted, flexible, and accountable medium to manage campaigns for their clients. Simply define your requirements in the scheduling software and the system automatically updates each iTaxi Top. Fast, flexible, and ferociously simple. Want to play your advert at a specific time of day? No problem. The iTaxi Top gives you the power to deliver messages when a specific audience will be most receptive. Promote coffee during the morning commute, display restaurant specials at lunchtime, or available theater tickets at night. Want to play your advert in a specific location? Easy! Our proprietary GPS software enables you to play adverts with geographic accuracy. Run adverts wherever your customers are most likely to be. Promote hotels or car hire services outside the airport. Display the latest financial news stories while striving through business districts. Advertise your brand outside your competitor's store. Or, for more cosmopolitan cities, why not translate your messages into other languages so your adverts can resonate more with the locals? The iTaxi Top gives you the opportunity to advertise in ways like never before. Every street in every city is now a new and exciting potential point of communications with your customer. So don't just advertise it, I tease it with the iTaxi Top. Okay, so that's. Uh... So that is the uh, two-minute overview of what we do, and I promise I won't do any more sales pitch after that point. Um, so why are we talking about taxi tops? Well, as you, as you noticed on the presentation header, it's all about media on wheels. And the main thrust is taxi top media because, well, taxis spend 95% of their time in city centers, and by nature of taxis, they are wherever people are um, uh, located. So they provide actually an optimal uh, medium to advertise from. And as a highly visible um, platform, it is an ideal uh, vehicle to use for the future of digital out of home. With a brief intro into the history of advertising on taxis, we ask the question, in a world of connected audiences, with iPhones and iPads, how will digital, how will out of home and taxi media in general adapt to this? Um, is digital actually the way forwards? Has IT's made a mistake? Well, we'll soon find out in about 20 minutes. Taxi top advertising is a common feature of many cities around the world. Born in USA in 1976, the iTaxi top has graced the streets of North America for the last three to four decades. Um, taxi advertising for many years has, been, has maintained its shape and its style. Um, as you can see here, on the left side you've got the Toblerone shape, which many have seen in North America. Um, very common shape that has graced our streets for about three, four decades. And then more recently, if you look at the middle picture, that is the Clear Channel Vert unit that was launched in 2006. And to be completely transparent, this is where we got the ins inspiration for the iTaxi top. When we went to New York, I went to New York many times, it's one of my favorite cities in the world, um, I noticed digital rooftop advertising on taxis and I thought that's a fantastic proposition. I couldn't quite understand why they were, they were so far and uh, so, so hard to find. Um, and certainly, um, with further research, I understood that the technology just wasn't reliable. Uh, upon more inspection of these vert units, you notice that half of them weren't even working. And others, when they were working during bright uh, daylight, uh, they, were, they weren't visible to the eye. So certainly, it begged the question, well, it should be an excellent proposition for brands. Location-specific, time-specific advertising on the roof of taxis, it, it should work if you get the technology right. And then further to the right, further innovations within the taxi top industry. Um, Show Media came out in 2009 with their high impact tops. Um, Verifone Media, who are present today, bought them last year and have been taking them from strength to strength uh, in other cities in North America. So what are the benefits of taxi, taxi media and taxi top advertising? Well, in general, Taxis, particularly in London and New York, are very iconic. And by their very nature, brands like to be associated with these iconic shapes. 
So from that perspective, it's quite a sexy medium to work with. They also, particularly with taxi top media, provide the optimal viewing range. Um, being on the, height, on the top of the roof, you will see them in traffic or, or not in traffic. Um, and also being illuminated, you'll see them 24-7, uh, which brands also like, particularly if you're advertising alcohol at night. Um, and again, with this type of medium, taxi top in particular, over traditional vinyl, there are certain challenges. Um, you're using a smaller addressable space, so the messaging has to be far sharper, bolder, and to the point. Um, and also, dwell time in general with taxi media is relatively low. Um, you're basically using 10 to 30 seconds dwell time, dependent on what city you're in in traffic and times of the day. So whatever you message the, the public, it has to be very succinct. And any call to action has to be very much readily available on every single advert. We just touched upon here some of the other transport media opportunities. CBS have recently trialled the illuminated Teesides uh, in London. Notoriously, the London Teesside buses are one of the most attractive transit media opportunities, particularly in London, particularly because it's so big um, and visible above all vehicles. The illumination actually gives it a really nice touch. And again, this isn't digital, this is backlighting. Um, but to my point previously, it's not about forcing technology where it doesn't need it. The benefit of buses is that you know where the, the route that they're traveling on, you also know where they're going to be at the end of the night at the, at the depot. You can simply change those adverts uh, by paying one chap to change them throughout the night, far more simplistic and, and more cost effective than putting digital screens on every single bus. So if it's not broken, don't fix it. And certainly the illum illumination was a nice proposition um, from CBS. Again, Verifone Media have come up with a very sexy proposition in taxis. Um, their VNet systems are, are being um, introduced today at the, at the Screen Media Expo. Um, more and more increasingly, we're seeing more narrow casting opportunities and the level of engagement during your average 13-minute taxi ride um, opens up some really interesting interactive engagement opportunities between the brand and the consumer in the back of the cab. Um, again, we're talking about a smaller screen, but that's sufficient for, for the vehicle, uh, for the user in the back of the cab. So, what, what is the future of taxi media? The out of home sector as a whole is under immense pressure from brands to deliver more intelligent and targeted campaigns to the public. The overall aim, as always, is to increase likelihood of conversion from awareness to transaction. In the, product being sorry, in the product being advertised, the more relevant your advert is to the public, the more likely they are to engage with, with the, uh, the more likely the consumer will engage with the advert and the more likely for conversion. Brands' expectations are ever more increased uh, by the features available to them online and mobile. The ability to track users and tailor adverts um, to the individual is all the more available to brands today. Features they have grown accustomed to and are expecting now in the out-of-home market. Taxi media falls nicely within the out-of-home sector and is also under immense pressure to, to match the benefits of the online um, world in an offline environment. To ensure taxi media and out-of-home in general remains competitive, it is key to understand the role of out-of-home um, and the role that it plays uh, in the overall media landscape. The key question in this presentation is that in a world where audiences carry their own digital screen within their pockets, how can we add value to their experience? Digital out-of-home plays a key role in bridging the gap between the mobile, online, and offline world. In summary, taxi top media can be treated as a prompt for connected, audience, connected audiences to navigate both online and offline, more often than not, with the ultimate aim of changing the customer journey and their behavior patterns. These prompts may be simple brand awareness exercises uh, or involve a more engaging experience involving a call to action. Ensuring each of these prompts are relevant to the audience is key. Rest assured, the more relevant the prompt to the connected audience is, the more likely for a response. Today's connected audiences have the power more than ever before to instantly engage with a prompt using their mobile device. As an industry, you must identify methods that complement the user's habits and do not fight against them. In an effort to meet with this growing market demand for more targeted campaigns, digital taxi media plays a key role in bridging the gap between mobile, online, and offline world. 
the marriage of out of home advertising and the mobile internet is creating a whole new channel for marketers to explore. Digital out of home opens up opportunities for conversations with consumers and enables brands to drive immediate online engagement. Whether that's on the brand's website, Facebook, Twitter, or any other web page. Digital out of home advertising reaches a greater number of people every day with more technology in just about everyone's hands. Out of home can be far more interactive for so many more people. Everyday consumers are bombarded with thousands of different marketing messages. For the digital taxi top advertising to break through the noise, interact and engage with the connected audiences, each prompt has to be specific and relevant to their customer journey and their behavior patterns. By relevant, we mean in harmony with what they're doing and their mindset. In order to do this, we must employ several assumptions to form an educated view on what sta stage of the journey they are in. At a very basic level, what we're doing with the digital taxi top, whoops, sorry, there's a bit of Costa coffee on the floor, just, uh, I'll get that. Um, by relevant, sorry, we mean um, being in tune with such factors such as location, being location specific and time specific. So, and for example, we know in the morning that they're probably tired and would need a coffee. We know at lunchtime they're probably hungry and could do with a sandwich. We know at 5 p.m. they're probably going home unless they work for IT's media. So with all these different patterns, we understand by time what the customer journey and behavior patterns will most likely be and make assumptions based on those. In addition, we also know uh, that if the person is viewing the advert from an attraction such as a museum or a theater, we can guess that they're a tourist. Or if they're near a campus, university, um, that they're probably 18 to 24, a student, and probably have a lot of free time. The added benefit of digital is the ability to make each of these prompts work for us um, with immediate effect. The more we're able to do this, the more integral our role will be as a digital out of home in the total media landscape. Digital taxi tops present a, a number of ways to ensure that these prompts are more relevant than traditional. There we go. Sorry, that should have been up for previously. Uh, where are we? Here we go. Um, so in reference to IT's media digital taxi top, named the iTaxi I top, we stuck an I in front of it, um, the new, this new way of advertising ensures relevancy of each prompt through syncing the advertisements with the audience's mindset, time, and journey. So in very basic terms, um, we've, we've kind of gone through the digital taxi top. It's a double-sided, uh, high-brightness LED backlit LCD screen. Um, it's vibration management, thermal management, and power management system ensures that uh, over five years, it will consistently deliver value of 24-7 usage. Using this highly adaptive digital broadcast medium enables us to play the right prompt to the right audience at the right place and time. This, of course, is not a simple task and involves an evolutionary approach to advertising. Informing the decision-making process will require a significant investment in a measurement exercise, which can be the most difficult, but often, uh, but also the most interesting aspect of establishing any media network. Little is, um, little is known about the quality and quantity, dare I say, on the, on the data being gleaned from this measurement. Um, but what isn't in question is how valuable it could be if we get it right. Without doubt, one of the possible reasons why brands are not targeting consumers today more closely is concerns around data protection. Brands are going to have to wrestle with this as they move forwards. The way in which consumers give up their data is changing, but the rules are still the same. Brands need to be upfront and tell consumers how they wish to use this data. Um, and if brands breach the data protection, then consumers are likely to exploit newfound social media powers to damage the offender's reputation. The combination of social media with outdoor advertising will be a powerful marketing tool which needs to be handled with care. Okay. So I've kind of just gone through this already. Unfortunately, I, my right finger hasn't, um, or my hand hasn't clicked through at the same pace. But effectively, what this is talking about is the value proposition and popular applications with the iTaxi Top. So with the iTaxi Top, what we're trying to be is a, a point of reference. We're not just an advertising tool, we're a communications device. So in effect, what we're doing there is trying to draw people to look at that 
on, as, on a broadcast level and gain information such as transport updates, public announcement, um, and news and information that will be in, uh, of uh, value to them. In the midst of economic downturn and increasing pressure from media owners to demonstrate return on investment to brands, it is no longer about eyeballs, it's about actions and validation. As media owners, it's our role to ensure that these prompts continue to resonate with connected audiences and are validated. Introducing the appropriate call to action is key. Connected audiences are equipped to respond under the right terms. If we get this right, we have a powerful means of closing the loop between the online, offline ecosystem of the, of the connected audience. A key driver in this potential growth of digital out of home is the sale of smartphones and tablets, likely to affect digital signage by giving this emerging communications medium a way to reach out to consumers in the proximity of a digital sign or RI taxi top, and wirelessly deliver information, coupons and QR codes. With so many smartphones and tablets in the hands of consumers, doing so, do, it, doing so seems like a natural way of marketers and other communicators to extend the digital signage experience beyond the public square and into the purses and pockets of the general public. The second key factor in the potential growth and opening of digital out of home is the rise and rise of mobile phone reach and capability. Interactivity between digital posters and smartphones is a single is it as the single best opportunity and challenge for the industry, is the single best, sorry, uh, opportunity and challenge for industry in the years to come. Consumer familiarization with PC, mobile phone, smartphone and now tablet, and other devices created a tipping point for accessibility to more meaningful communications, which we're now starting to untap in the out-of-home environment. If the out-of-home industry can develop a consistent and effective approach to poster to mobile brand campaigns, it could spawn a new segment within the medium. Using the iTaxi top as an example, we're able to, we are able to harmonize the messaging inside the cab with outside the cab. Utilizing an ads for access model with the cab Wi-Fi that we've introduced also at the show, this also opens an interesting proposition to brands. When inside the cab, connected audiences are able to view, play, and interact with brands um, showcased on the iTaxi top. In this scenario, it is key for brands to understand what is the purpose they're trying to get to with this engagement. As an example, one could imagine Starbucks advertising on one of the, uh, on our, on the iTaxi top, offering their great tasting coffee in the morning to commuters using the iTaxi top screen. Once inside the taxi, connected audiences can access cab Wi-Fi sponsored by Starbucks. They can download the advertised offer to their phone, watch a 15 second advert, or play a short branded interactive game prior to accessing the internet. These are one of the many ways that we can, <clears throat> as a digital out of home sector, start to bridge the gap between digital broadcast and, and narrowcast to give a full circle 360 degree interaction with the customer. Uh, actually just go off that, sorry. Um, so just to recap, taxis spend on average 95% of their time in city centers and present advertisers with the ideal platform to advertise from. Current taxi media formats, although very eye-catching, and if Verifone are present, doing a great job, during the daytime, unfortunately are untargeted and inefficient, and do not provide the 24-7 coverage and visibility that brands are requiring and are used to in the online and mobile world. In general, Out of Home is losing precious advertising dollars to more targeted mobile and online media formats. The iTaxiTop 2.0, as exhibited today at the Screen Media Expo, presents brands with a real opportunity to bring back relevancy to the out-of-home media sector. The iTaxiTop will turn each taxi into the world's most advanced digital out-of-home media platform. Moving forwards, it is important for any site, in particular something as radical as the iTaxiTop, to merit this upfront investment with future-proofing. Setting the foundations to achieve this from day one and ensuring that the product is able to evolve over time is paramount. For IT's media, it is about leveraging the revenue potential from the digital screen to facilitate many new interactions with these connected audiences that seek to enhance their journey and add value to their lives. Within each iTaxi top, we have the capability to integrate, as mentioned, free Wi-Fi under an ads for access model. Utilizing the current 3G VPN, we're able to securely ha handle wireless payments and NFC. Loyalty and also coupon schemes. Integrating at a later date face recognition and eyeball tracking 
to enhance time-specific and location-specific targeting capabilities is also a very real possibility for the iTech stop campaigns in the future. Two critical factors influence the potential for engaging with consumers with media on wheels. The first is, as we mentioned before, dwell time, and the second is the speed at which the installed technology can download or receive data from consumers' handset. Clearly, selecting specific locations based on dwell time and matching those locations with the appropriate technology is essential. The vast majority of transport media um, does not have the high dwell time from a broadcast perspective, yet a narrowcast perspective have considerably more engagement. Out of home and taxi media in general needs to keep broadening its relevance and formats and services to be, true, to be a true intermediary between brands and consumers out of home. It needs to provide a greater connectivity between the two, becoming the out-of-home fulcrum for channels, such as social media, retail stores, online stores, check-in services, etc. If that happens, Outdoor can come together as a major link in the consumer's purchasing journey. Just to summarize with the key takeaways, our key point of this, uh, this uh, presentation <clears throat> is that we, as digital out-of-home technology owners, media formats, are prompts. We are prompts in the out-of-home media sector that will essentially work with the digital screen that the public have in their pocket. It is essentially manipulating and changing their behavior patterns to either work um, in a preferable way for the brand in an online or offline environment. In order for the conversion from awareness to, to, to transaction, with the brand to be uh, more successful, each prompt must be relevant. By relevant, we mean in harmony with their journey and mindset. And as we mentioned with the iTaxi top, this is all about, at the moment, location-specific and time-specific advertising, but will evolve over time to include demographic targeting as well. Today, we have the privilege of having connected audiences with a screen in their pocket, which means that if we present them with the right prompt, they have the power to instantaneously engage with that message and close the loop. Um, this is something that, if we get it right, will lead to more successful ROIs and, and uh, uh, better, better ROIs and more successful campaigns for uh, our clients. Um, again, leveraging digital screen real estate to facilitate new transactions and interactions with connected, with connected audiences is key. Uh, and as we said, future-proofing is also paramount. Now, as we said about future-proofing, it's about leveraging the, digital rev the revenue from digital advertising to create more interesting engagements with the consumer. Uh, as we mentioned, cab Wi-Fi, NFC technology, um, downloading coupons, really getting into the mindset of the customer. But again, it's not about fighting their, their current habits. It's about complementing them. If they have a screen in their pocket, don't stick a screen in their face. Um, there may be other ways to get around it and communicate in a more effective way. And, and I think that's the, uh, the end of our presentation. Any questions?